Tuesday morning brew. Here we are. You ready? Back at it for another day. You ready? Got a chock full morning full of some entertaining stuff, plus some uh, tickets to the I Love the 90s show coming up after 8 o'clock this morning, so be sure you're listening for a chance to win that. We're going to play another fun 90s themed game today. Have you, so uh, you've kind of just taken that over. Have you come up with any brilliant ideas for that? Because I don't have any. (laughs) Yeah, no, I got a couple couple of uh, ideas bouncing around in my head right now. Okay. Not sure which one I'm going to go with. We'll see what one falls out of his ear. And we'll, uh, that's just your wax. <laughs> Gross. Gross. Uh, before we get to that later on this morning, uh, there is a, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Not, not I guess. This guy. But yeah, in this case, I feel like that's a bad idea. And hopefully everybody with that, that puts money toward this, I don't know, takes out an insurance policy or something. I don't know. Uh, plus, of course, Nick's nonsense is on the way and song and 60s on the way in a couple minutes. I got a song in my mind that I'll get you and Tony to try to guess. Okay. Coming up in a little bit. Let us play song in 60 here this morning. I got a song in my mind. We'll see if you and Tony can guess and see who gets it done first this morning. Uh, so uh, we need to really get into things too much here besides just diving into the song. Are you ready to go, Tony? Yeah, let's do this. All right. So song in 60 this morning starts. That is not a timer. Starts right now uh rapper um east coast um brooklyn um uh, um i have no idea jay-z okay. oh, yes jay-z okay okay, 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 okay good there we go so that, that's a good start east coast rapper. <laughs> all right now on the song okay so brooklyn New York. Ah, what's the name of the song? Concrete Jungle. I love New York. New York City. Um, come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Everyone out there right now is going, it's this. Yes, it has Alicia Keys in it. Uh, Ten seconds. Oh, Ten big seconds. Something big. Uh, okay. Big. Uh, da, 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 da. Big Darth. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's the time. Empire. Ah, State of mind. Dang it. <laughs> well, I clearly knew what the song was, but you, did, you didn't did, get yeah. the title right. Yes. There it is. Nerd. I I know. Mix. What a wait. Morning brew. Good morning. Hello. Happy Wednesday. So you remember the Firefest thing that was a giant epic failure? I do remember this. Yes. Like a scam, basically. The guy went to jail, didn't he? The, the organizer? Several years, I think. Yeah. yeah. But I think his, and he was released from jail a couple years ago, maybe. Yeah. So, um, and there was documentary, like Netflix and Hulu both had their own documentary about the, just the mess that it was. Correct. Um, so the guy's named Billy McFarland. He's insisted he's learned from his mistakes. <laughs> and he's going to try again. Firefest 2.0 is okay. a thing. <laughs> so, serious? Yeah, he's serious. Apparently, it's planned for next year, 2025. Um, so the uh, he was released from jail in 2022. Uh-huh. And basically got out of jail and started planning because he's, you know, he's had a couple years to start figuring things out for what's going to be referred to by as Fire, Fe- Fire Festival 2.0 FYRE. Okay. Uh, so according to a uh, NBC News report, he's confirmed that Fire Festival 2 will kick off an, on an unspecified private island off the Caribbean coast of Mexico April 25th of next year. Okay. And it'll come to a close on the 28th. Okay. So next April. Uh, As things currently stand, anybody who might go can get one of a limited number of tickets because, again, it's a whole, like, destination thing, limited number. That's part of the deal. Mm -hmm. So here are the ticket packages price-wise. I don't know about all the details of what it all comes with, but the fire starter ticket is $1,400. Holy cow. The fire VIP ticket Uh is five grand. The Fire Artist Pass ticket is $25,000. And there's one more, but wait, there's more. The Prometheus ticket. The Prometheus ticket. Is, of course he is. $1.1 million. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> 
I mean, I see people like getting involved in this just because it is what it is and hoping. I, I almost think that it's they like hope, being part of a real life meme. Mm, yeah, kind of. Okay. And secretly hoping that it does go pear shaped again. So they're yeah. part of like the documentary part two. I don't know, but I'd, I would certainly would not give this guy after watching. I think the net. I didn't know Hulu did one. I they have to both watch did one. Yeah. Okay. Um, after watching the Netflix documentary, which, by the way, has one of the best scenes ever in a documentary. <laughs> um, um, <laughs> right? Yeah. Am I yeah. not wrong? Yeah. Um, is crazy. Like, you yep. don't give this guy a dime of your money, especially with uh, no details. Like, didn't didn't like the the highest price package? It doesn't come with many details except for you'll get like. Like yacht access. Well, so it says you know, luxury like luxury yachts, very, scuba diving, island hopping. Yeah, it's very, yeah. it's very non-specific. So I'd be a little, uh, a little scared leery? of that. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, for a hundred dollars, I'd be a little leery. Yep. <laughs> yep. He's asking people to give him money. So one of two things is going to happen: either one, nobody's going to do it. I don't believe that's the case. Or no, two, sell tickets. Yeah. The more likely scenario is people do do it and. Maybe it works out. Maybe. But maybe it doesn't. <laughs> See, I thought for sure when I saw uh, this story that somebody else, like another company bought oh, the brand, no. was going to try to relaunch it, just kind of, uh, you know, kind of on the have some fun with it, but actually try to do something with it. No way. But no, same guy out of jail doing the same thing. Interesting. You know. <laughs> Interesting. Like, my worry is this. It, what evidence is there that he's changed anything? Nothing. Zero. Nothing. No You're just, evidence. You just got to give it a shot, man. I guess it's... it's Roll the dice. Yeah, just, you know, faith and fire, I guess, or something faith like that. Faith and fire. No, thanks. <laughs> Nick's Nonsense is on the way in a couple minutes here at Mix It Away. Good morning. Nick's Nonsense here on a Wednesday morning, and we head to Seattle. Okay. Where uh, there is a, a very odd landmark of sorts that developed. It was a, a cyber truck. Okay, that became a landmark. Now, there, there's actually a conclusion to this well, for, story. For somebody to become a landmark, it's got to just be there, right? And it was just there. So what happened? So the uh, the Cybertruck appeared to have gotten uh, some pretty serious damage to the rear end. I mean, if you look at there's a picture in the story, if you happen to look at it. Yeah. Like, you can see that yeah. the rear tire's all busted up, Good. and there's some damage done to it. So somehow it ended up on the side of this street in Seattle, but it was there long enough and enough savvy people online actually kind of made a landmark out of it. It actually ended up with a point on Google Maps. You could actually go and find it. (laughs) People would go visit it, check it out. So it's been there for a while. Um, the, The end of the story, though, is that just yesterday it was hauled away. Oh, no, I guess no more landmarks. So the landmark, as mysteriously as it popped up as far as the public is concerned. Yeah. Gone. Gone. Yeah. Um, (laughs) So there some people are are comparing it to, I'm not super familiar with this, but the the rat hole in Chicago. Are you familiar with that? No idea. No idea. I I have no idea what that is either. Uh, So one Reddit user commented on the situation saying, uh, I went by there one evening on my way to dinner. The owner was outside, was not happy that uh, there were people there. Um, apparently, there was somebody that that hit it a few weeks ago trying to figure out insurance and what to do with the situation. And, right. And so that's kind of how it came to be. So apparently, it was just left there. And I can't imagine in a city as big as Seattle and knowing, like, because I've been there a couple times, there aren't, like around here, if you get off out of downtown, there's areas where you could leave a vehicle and it would just be okay. But you know some of those places? No. Okay. But I'm just saying, you like, there you are roads where there's before. room. There, no, there, no. You know. I've, oh, for sure. Yeah, there's, I, I, yeah, I see But it. a big city like that, you know, it's taking up somebody's parking spot in front of their apartment or their house or something. Those people can't be happy. But it's a cool cyber truck, man. <laughs> it is. The only thing that's a little disappointing is, you know, it, it, it isn't flashy. It's the classic cyber truck, just the the silver. No, no cool paint jobs. Oh, nothing, you know. Wow. So, a little disappointment then. Yeah. I know, exactly. So, very odd landmark. I, that, with, with more of these being out in the wild now, what are the odds we see more? I'm going to turn it into a nice planter. <laughs> you know, like a nice or a garden of some sort, you, you know? Go. Just, yeah. I like it. Pop the hood open and mm-hmm. do some stuff with it. All right, there's Nick's nonsense for this morning. We'll see what's trending at the top in a couple minutes here and mix it up.
Live from the Mix 108 studio in downtown Duluth, this is KBMX FM, Proctor Duluth Superior, a town square media station. Well, good morning and happy Wednesday, 704, and it is currently uh, 58 degrees. We're looking for a high today in the low 80s today in the Twin Ports area. Definitely felt warm yesterday afternoon. We uh, got a little why staff we were, outing outside. Yeah, why we were beating the B105 morning show. Yep. 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 Uh, we, we'll get into that later, but exactly. we, we we handed it to We them. did. We did. We uh, so 83, mostly sunny today. Tomorrow will be slightly cooler, uh, 78 in the Twin Ports area, some patchy fog to start the day. Uh, around 80 again on Friday. Now, get into this weekend. We'll be in the mid-upper 70s. There's a chance some rain showers maybe on Saturday, maybe a rumble of thunder on Sunday, but no washouts. Of course, the uh, Duluth October Festival going on this weekend. So maybe a little drizzle off and on you might need to be aware of, but there's big tents, and so if you're going to go, you can probably easily dodge inside and do that. Oh, I think so, yeah. yeah. Fans of Broadway will be excited that the deck now has a new Broadway series that they're kicking off in 2025. I know Nick is all ready to go to see. Yeah. To go check out the Broadway classic Chicago, um, a musical based on the 1990 film Pretty Woman. Okay. Nick's favorite. And a musical based on the 2004 film Mean Girls, which, of course, was written... And helped produced by Tina Fey. Oh, so didn't, yeah. And finally, are you ready for this? We're going to this one. Ooh. We're teaming up. We're squatting up for 30 years of Riverdance. <laughs> Riverdance, ah. a new generation. This new production celebrating 30 years of Riverdance will feature new choreography, wow. costumes, and state-of-the-art lighting. Um, tickets, season tickets are as low as $139 for all shows. Um, they go on sale Friday, and you can get more details about the new Broadway season at the deck on the Mix 108 app or at Mix108.com. You mentioned just going to it, but aren't you in it? Aren't you Tony Fleetfoot? Aren't you going to be out there, you know? Tony what? Tony Fleetfoot? Fleetfoot? Yeah. Is that what they call What is? I don't know. Is <laughs> that river dance terminology that I'm not aware of? I literally just made that up Fleetfoot. based on, you know. Tony Fleetfoot, I like that. Yeah. I have no idea what it means, but I like the sound of it. You're, you know, I are you kidding me? I couldn't fit in those costumes. <laughs> have you seen the costumes that they, they can wear? Make one for you. Mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> they do some pretty wild moves in the river dance. Yeah, that's true. I can, I can, maybe gritty. That's about it. <laughs> maybe <laughs> on a good day. There we go. We'll get Tony gritty Couple cocktails and maybe I'll gritty across okay. the floor. But I ain't. River dancing. Part of Tony's rider. I need three strong drinks. Thank you. <laughs> but I would go see uh, Mean Girls, and I I would go see Pretty Woman, may, maybe. Okay. I think uh, you know. No, I mean, like good shows. I li- I like Broadway shows. There's a general. there's a there's a variety of shows that they're offering there. So there's you know something for everybody. A little good. something for everybody. And they yeah. already say they're working on season season two. So nice. Okay. All right. Maybe we'll get more Broadway in 2025. More culture. Stay tuned. Very cool. Uh, Coming up later on this morning, if you want to go and see the Isle of the 90s tour stop coming to the Northland later this week, we have your chance to win. Yeah, Vanilla Ice, DJ Jazzy Jeff, Tone Loke, two live crew all going to be at Black Bear Casino on Saturday night. And maybe you will be too. Stick around after the 8 o'clock hour. We'll play a little 90s themed game for your chance to win some tickets to that show on Saturday night. Mix 108 Morning Brew. Good morning and happy Wednesday. Tony's uh, once again getting the chance to relive his break dancing days. He's got the moves over there a little bit. I, so, I, I did break dance. I had a piece of cardboard yeah. dedicated for break dancing. I took classes. You could go out and there's probably some cardboard out there for you. Could get you a break dancing this morning on the street. Cardboard, on the far side, there's a box. There's a, there's a box on the far side hanging off. Oh, yeah, you're right. See? See? And we can build a platform for you. Okay. Anyway, there's a shopping cart on on Superior Street right now, just yeah. sitting there, like a mobile lumber yard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the reason we're playing this music and talking about break dancing a little bit is because maybe surprising to some, Not uh, me. the viral break dancer from the Olympic Games, mm-hmm. Ray Gun. Yeah. Recently earned the uh, honor of being named and ranked the number one breakdancer in the world. Mm-hmm. 
So you're not shocked by this at all? No, not at all. I said though. I said during the time that she was, she was. I don't want to say purposely, but she was definitely being smart, and that she nobody else is talking about any other, you know. Well, especially the break dancers, but maybe yeah. maybe overall Olympian, considering that you know Simone Biles, uh, right, the likes of uh, uh, LeBron James, right. Uh, there's so many big names in the Olympics. So for Michael those that- Phelps, sure. Those well, okay, that might not have all the details on this situation. Yeah. Ray Gunn, her actual name is Rachel Gunn. She's an Australian, 37-year-old Australian break dancer. Of course, the well, the, uh, she's a dance, dancer, kind of a dancer. dancer. I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure that it qualifies. <laughs> wow. See, there you're walking back on your she own. She identifies words. herself as a bu- uh, break dancer. So, break dancing was in the Olympic Games for the first time ever this year. Mm-hmm. Ray Gunn's performance failed to score any points across her Olympic battles against breakers from France, Lithuania, and the United States. But her moves went viral. Yes. Um, she was like mimicking animals and stuff. There was, I think, like a kangaroo looking move. There was a snake looking move. There was a lot of, you know, different moves that were pretty much the whole ecosystem of Australia. Yeah, and, and that was kind of the bit was, you know, like she was trying to like represent her home country yeah. of Australia. So despite epically losing, but maybe winning at the same time, if you look at it that way. In the Olympic Games, she was named recently as the top-ranked break dancer in the world. I'm looking at the rankings. The uh, the website, World Dance Sport Federation, it's a thing. Okay. They've got the uh, the top eight break dancers across the, uh, the, the whole planet. There's a few Australians, a few folks from Japan, a Ukrainian, an Italian, um, and Ray Gunn is ranked number one. Now, the uh, the WDSF did clarify after this ranking came out, because some people went, what, wait, what, what? Are you serious? So they did clarify saying, this is based on the athlete's top uh, four performances within the last year, within the last 12 months. Okay. Points earned in competitions um, remain valid for 52 weeks from the date of the event. So whenever they do an updated ranking, they look back over the last 12 months, look at their four biggest events, and that's how they score them and rank them. So maybe they must be ignoring the Olympic Games one? Or do you think they're trying to, like, bring a little bit of attention to probably, the Olympic Games? Probably. Okay. I mean, you're bringing a little, yeah, you're bringing a little bit more attention because you're making her the the butt of all jokes, basically, right sure. now. Sure, yeah. One, two, three. Can we talk about how four of the top eight break dancers in the world are Australian for a wow. second? Apparently, that, that, that is, is the, shocking to me, honestly. The epicenter of breakdance in 2024, that, apparently, no. is Australia. Where is this federation located? In Australia? <laughs> <laughs> Headquarters in they, Sydney? They call themselves the World Dance Sport Federation. Okay. I, I don't know much about the organization oh. except for that they're Well, a if thing. four of the best live in Australia and they sent Ray Gunn as the best to <laughs> um, represent, represent their country. Yep. I don't know about that. Yeah, I'm trying to learn more about this organization, but I don't want to, like, waste everyone's time here. Let me see. Okay, so let's dig further. Uh, another Australian, a Canadian, another Australian, uh, someone from France, an Italian, another Australian. There are no Americans in, like, the top 20. <laughs> so We invented that sport. Yeah. Yeah. Portugal, another Japan, New Zealand, Belgium. Yeah, they, like, even beyond the top 20, there are no Americans. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That is wild to me. I, I'll, I'll, when we go to break, I'll take a look at where this organization is from. But they're allegedly a worldwide organization. There's representation from other major countries around the world. Just not, not the, not the U.S. of A. Weird. That is a little odd to me. So anyway, Ray Gunn is number one, um, despite what I think some people might argue. Uh, coming up later on this morning, we'll, we'll head forward a little bit from the music you're hearing right now into the '90s, where you'll have a chance to. Uh, Win yourself some I Love the 90s tour tickets later on this morning. Give you a chance to win those for that show, which is coming up this weekend, Tony, right? Uh, Saturday night at Black Bear Saturday Casino. Night. The likes of Vanilla Ice, Tone Loke, two live crew. And DJ Jazzy Jeff without the Fresh Prince at Black Bear Casino on Saturday night. It'll be a fun uh, fun time, so stick around for your chance to win here in Mix It Away. Mix It Away morning brew on a Wednesday morning.
So we got a fun music event, kind of wrapping up the summer season, and we got Christy and a band in the studio to talk about it. Christy Stokes from downtown Duluth. Good morning. Good morning. morning. So let's talk a little bit about the Power Up the Plaza events you guys have been doing this summer. We've been doing them uh, all summer long, and this is really a way for us to activate the plaza, Lake Superior Plaza, next to Minnesota Power. And it's a free event, so it's free coffee, it's great music, and it's an opportunity just for our community to do some networking. Nice. So time frame on this, if you're looking to check it out tomorrow, if you've not been to one of these yet, what are the kind of the basic when, where, to, you know, that, that type of stuff? <laughs> it's, it's at 10 o'clock, so it goes 10 okay. to 11. So it's a quick coffee break, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, nice. Just, we have seen people just come down the street, connect with their neighbors. It's a real great chance for us to build community, but it's also a great chance to showcase our local music scene um, and highlight some of the artists and have them come out. It, and the weather. You yeah, know, it's going to be yeah. perfect. We're, we're really taking care of the weather, yeah. so it, it's going to be beautiful as well for that. And really encourage people maybe not working downtown to, uh, to come into downtown and to see this, uh, see the plaza. Maybe they haven't been there in a while and seen it and enjoy some music, right? Yeah, it is. And we have people, um, I know we have some regulars that just come down on their bikes nice. and just join us. So obviously we encourage anyone and everyone to come down. It's free Duluth Coffee. Um, that we provide as well as free music and just a great way to build community. Yeah. And as you said, I mean, Lake Superior Plaza is just such a beautiful place. It really is. It is. And it's sometimes hidden that people might not have seen it. Mm -hmm. So it's a great way to do that too. It is easy for just cruising through downtown to just, you know, not, if you're not looking it. around yeah. to just kind of drive by it, but yeah, to actually stop and check it out and check out these music things. So this is, how long have you, is it just this year? Has it been a couple years now you've done this? We have done it a couple years since the pandemic. Okay. So yeah. once we got on of the pandemic we said we need to build community again yes. yeah. people were so right. used to being so separate from each other and um, so this is a great way to start that off and get people connected. Um, if people don't know where the plaza is, it's at the corner of Lake and Superior. Exactly. It's a great place to see live music, too. I've uh, seen some uh, music down there. It's a great place. Nice. And we'll and speaking so, of music. Speaking of live music, so, Christy, we've got the band that's going to be there. Now, they actually kicked off the season, too, correct? They did. So they're bookending it for us. <laughs> so they kicked it off. A great way to kick it off. And now they're going to finish it up for us as well. It's a, it's a band you might be pretty familiar with, uh, local band and decent proposal we've got josh and jevin and terry all in studio hey as well so guys what can people expect from the show as we get things going later on today oh man pyro we have uh <laughs> <laughs> we, we talked to we talked to the 148 they're gonna send the fly jet server. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, we weren't gonna tell people yeah. about this no. this was gonna be a surprise going big going yeah. big huh yeah really cheap too um <laughs> no we're gonna i think we play for an hour or so and we're gonna bring a nice sound system and, and play the, the best stuff we got for you throughout nice. the summer. So we love playing this gig. So well, it's a neat outdoor gig. Like Christy mentioned, the weather is going to be fantastic. And and for people that, for whatever reason, might not be familiar with the band, you guys do some cover stuff, but you've got a lot of great original work as well. Yeah, we want people to come out for all the reasons tomorrow, but also to hear our song that we just released, The Cage, and maybe some unreleased stuff too. Okay, nice. So maybe a chance to, to get a little sampling of some other things you might not have heard yet. Absolutely a chance for that. Excellent. Well, we appreciate you guys coming in. So again, time frame on this, Christy, just to remind folks, is... 10 to 11 o'clock. All right, so check it out. It's right down the street from the radio station, like you said, at the intersection of Lake and Superior Street, and it should be a fun time. Indecent proposal. Appreciate you guys coming in. Absolutely. Hey, I just uh, want to yeah. thank them too because it's been so fun having them involved with some of thank our you. events. So. Absolutely. No, it's it's uh, fantastic. You got the connection and a great local band to to like you said open up and close down the season and uh, check it out later on this morning. Mix one away morning brew. Good morning and happy Wednesday. Nick Cooper and Tony Hart with you here and are giving some more clues out for the who the best master is for the. 2024 Duluth October Festival, which is this weekend at yeah. Bayfront Park. Lots of fun activities, lots of German beer, food, the fun Kinder Plots. Stuff. Don't yeah. forget about the Kinder Plots, the kids' stuff. Uh, yeah, Friday afternoon, four o'clock is when things get going. So the, we have the Festmaster coming in tomorrow. Is that right? We reveal who it is. Uh, I think I think we're gonna record it for Friday morning. Oh my bad. I okay. think is the plan. Oh okay. So, Sorry about that. So we'll give you some clues today. We'll give you some clues tomorrow, and then Friday. Friday is big the reveal day. Okay. Yeah, of course. If you don't know the the deal, it's usually a local dignitary, somebody people would know from the Twin Ports areas, mm -hmm. is the deal. And so we've been given some clues so far. We've shared that this individual has a dog named Leo. Leo. 
Lapel uh, pins. Yep, lapel pins, an impressive sock collection. And uh, protein shakes are a go-to lunch option. No new clues for you. This individual loves a good run. I've actually seen this person run in the, I don't know oh, if it really? was the half or the full marathon, but one of the grandma's events. Okay. Saw this person come across the finish line a couple times. And this person also is a pilot. Can fly. Oh, oh. Lic- licensed to fly. Oh. Like so, Maverick. Maybe. I don't know. If maybe we're, not quite. I don't know if it's at that level. Or I don't know. Uh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to get more specification. We will. So they can fly, though. I don't know if they have a plane or not, but they can fly. Okay. So those are your latest hits. And again, if you want to see the events for this weekend's Duluth October Festivals, we mentioned some of the different things for the entire family. Golden Keg by the Unknown Fest Master, we've been given clues for, gets tapped at four on Friday. And then things get going all the way into the afternoon and evening. Cool. And then again, Saturday and Sunday. Music, games, the whole deal. You can see it all on the Mix Mobile app, mixitoy.com. Next hour, I Love the 90s Tour, Tony. Yes, I Love the 90s Tour. We're going to play a new game today called 90s Twisted Titles. So <laughs> stick around for that. That's on the way for your tickets to see I Love the 90s Saturday night at Black Bear Casino. So stick around. That's all coming up here on the Morning Brew on Mix 108. It's very. Live from the Mix 108 studio in downtown Duluth, this is KBMX FM, Proctor Duluth Superior, a town square media station. Well, good morning and happy Wednesday. It's 8 o'clock and 60 degrees downtown Duluth at the Mix 108 studios. We're going to see high today, low 80s, uh, mostly sunny tonight, partly cloudy. Now, there might be some overnight fog that does develop in some places, and why you might want to be aware of that is we are in the middle of a couple nights of Northern Lights viewing opportunities. Last night was one of the better opportunities it's kind of hazy in Duluth, though. I don't know how it was away from the lake. Yes? No, I, nothing. Okay, I okay, was that? No, no, never mind. Okay. Yeah. Not, I'm not reacting to you. I'm okay. reacting to something, something else. Something completely. Like, did I say something wrong? Something that you'll get a kick out of. Oh. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to see temperatures upper 70s, burning off whatever fog does develop overnight tonight. And then uh, Friday, we end the week uh, 77 and sunny. Though there is another better chance of Northern Lights viewing tomorrow night as well. Uh, so if the sky does remain clear, get away from town, get away from the city lights, you might be able to get another look. If you want some details, we have that on the Mix Mobile at mixitoid.com. Look at the weekend forecast. We're going to see temperatures slightly cooler, mid-70s. There are some shower chances on Saturday and maybe a pop-up thunderstorm on Sunday, but no washouts for the weekend. You can read more about this on the Mix 108 app or at mix108.com, but Essential Health announced that it has started the process of informing patients that due to excessive Prior authorization requirements and denial of care, they will no longer serve as an in-network provider for Medicare Advantage plans administered by United Healthcare and Humana. Uh, This change will be effective Wednesday, January 1st, 2025, according to Essentia, United Healthcare and Humana delay and deny care approval for their patients at more than twice the rate of other Medicare Advantage plans. These denials and delays cause unnecessary hardships for many essential patients. You can read more on the Mix 108 app or at mix108.com. Thanks. Coming up here, we got your chance to win tickets to go check out the I Love the 90s Tour. Let's go. It'll be a Black Bear Casino on Saturday night. Uh, Vanilla Ice, DJ Jazzy Jeff, Tone Loke, two live crew all going to be in the house. You might be there as well if you win our Twisted Title game coming up here in just a few minutes. So stick around, plus a TikTok treasure on the way <laughs> from a uh, from a lady. Uh, well, let's just say she thinks the the warning lights on her car are just a suggestion. They're not we'll warnings. Talk, we'll talk about that. Yeah, yeah coming exactly. up here in just a few minutes. Hey, matey, it's time to dig in me chest and check out. Tony's TikTok treasures. What will we find in there today? Well, Emily um, had a little car problems, had some car problems, and she shared uh, those problems where everybody shares their problems these days on TikTok, right? So she took to TikTok to explain the problems with her vehicle, and, well, it turns out that she is probably to blame for this. (laughs) What is the longest you have gone without getting an oil change? Me, me personally, I think it's been about two years. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Are you a person that keeps up with oil changes pretty regularly? Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. 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 It's important. I used to not be, but now I'm 
you know, I'm always on it now. Even if you're not driving regularly. You Especially should. with a vehicle with like over 100,000 miles. I'm on it all the time. Yep. Got to be on it. Okay, so backstory. My car is busted, and I've talked to my husband, my father-in-law, my best friend's husband, some other men that I know, and they're all saying that I have a blown head gasket due to not properly taking care of my car, basically due to not getting oil changes. I mean, that's not a cheap fix. No. I mean, you're, you're toast at that point. Yeah. Okay, but like... First of all, yes, there was a, a light on, but mm. I always take that as like a suggestion. I'm like always like, oh, I got time. I know this is my fault, and I'm very disappointed in myself. But here comes the big butt. Does your husband remind you to get your oil changed or not? Okay. Second of all, what? I always have lights on in my car. So basically, what happened was two days ago, I went to go get Mia from school and my car started smoking. So I ran in and got my husband and he was like, oh girl, like psh, of course it is. Go get your oil changed. And I'm like, now you tell me why didn't you remind me? But it was driving funny. It felt like heavy. It was making a rattling noise. Oh, no. And then I just got in the car to go tanning and it is smoking like so bad. Like I can't drive it. Like I don't feel safe driving it. Watching this video and she mentions her tanning appointment. I don't think she's missed a tanning appointment a lip plumping appointment or a nail appointment in years. And I bet you she didn't need her husband to remind her of those. Wow. Just saying. And I'm pretty sure I ruined my car yeah. from being an irresponsible idiot. Yeah. But I'm just a girl. Like, I really wish my husband... I love to blame other people for my problems, <laughs> if you haven't noticed. I wish he would have just reminded me. Like, that light is a suggestion. Isn't it? No. No. Usually... Usually... The, so... There's, there's a, a, a you know a low tire uh, warning on a cold day. Okay, so so the oil light in and I, I I've never driven obviously every vehicle ever, but usually the oil light is red, right? And the tire pressure light is yellow. Yeah. Yellow. Okay. Good. Yes. Hey, good heads point. up, yeah. red. Do something. Do something about it. <laughs> and you know, I mean, ninety nine point nine percent of oil places do put a handy little sticker right in your window so you can exactly see what mileage you need to yeah. either a mileage or a date of when yeah, you need to get both. your or both of when you need to get your oil changed yep and i have found like my van has a oil life percentage meter yep and i find that to be highly inaccurate yep highly inaccurate well so they say a lot of newer ones that have that it's based on it's roughly based on how you drive yeah so it might be longer or shorter than what the sticker says. Right. Yeah, it's literally, honestly, it might even be more than two years. Like, I cannot remember wow. the last. I've had this car for three years. Wow. I remember because when I got the car, they said I got two free oil changes, and I only got one of the free oil changes. <laughs> so maybe it's been three years. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> That's rough. Uh, that is rough. I mean, you got to hear that. I mean, after about a year, you got to at least hear that you need an oil change. Yeah. Yeah. Like, things are not going well at that point. <laughs> uh, so, and this is not what her thought process is, but I, I could potentially see somebody going, oh, they gave me two free oil changes when I bought my vehicle. I just, over the course of the life of the vehicle, I just need to use these two. Mm-hmm. No, that's not how it works either. But Can you imagine going to redeem your second oil change for free three years after you <laughs> bought the vehicle? The, the oil's almost gone. Uh, <laughs> it is really dark. Uh, <laughs> just tar leaking out of the clumps. I, I, I love how she's kind of self-aware, but she doesn't want to totally own it. Like she's, No, she's I, not owning it at all. She's 100% blaming her husband on oh, but this. She, she admits, like, I love blaming other people for my problems. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, that's that's uh, good luck to her. Good luck to her husband. Hopefully they get the it's like me getting in trouble for Dave Grohl's actions. I don't know how that happens. (laughs) You know, I I don't know how that happens, but it happened. (laughs) Mix what are we morning brew on a Wednesday morning and I got a little 90s themed game to give away some Isle of the 90s tour tickets. Joining us on the phone this morning to play along is Melissa. Good morning, Melissa. Good morning. So what are you up to this morning? I am at work. At work. Hopefully it works off to a good start for you. 
We'll see if we can uh, make your day a little bit better by winning some tickets for this weekend's show. So, Tony, explain once again what we're doing here. We're going to play 90s twisted titles. So I've twisted up some uh, titles of songs from the artists of the I Love the 90s tour, like Tone Loke, like Vanilla Ice. Okay. Uh, Two Live Crew and DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. Well, the Fresh Prince won't be there, but you get the drift. Um, so, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a... Uh, a mixed up or a twisted title of a song that may ry- rhymes basically with the actual title of the song. So if I said uh, styled swing, style, styled swing, it would be Tone Loke's wild, wild thing. thing. Yes. Wild thing. So styled And Melissa, if you, if you need some help, if you want to tap me on the shoulder, <laughs> I can try to help you. I can't promise anything, but I can try, okay? All right. So okay. It, all, okay. The art, all the songs are from artists from the uh, show on Saturday night. So here we go. Good luck, Melissa. What's the, what's the title of this real title of the song? Harbor Time. Harbor, Harbor Time. Time. Harbor Time. I will tell you, this is a DJ Jesse Jeff song, Harbor Time. So this would be... Harbor Time. Um, think, think back to oh maybe the season we just left, perhaps. Um, oh, my God. I don't know. Summertime? It's, it's, it's summer, summertime. There we go. It's summertime. So you got it. You got it. You got it. Oh All right. God. How about the song... Mice, mice, gravy. <laughs> mice, mice, ice, gra- ice, baby. Ice, ice, baby. Yeah, nice. nice. <laughs> yes. What about what about chunky old marina? <laughs> chunky old marina. Chunky cold Medina. Yeah. Very nice. Yes. She's on a roll now. Found a groove. Um, we so thorny. <laughs> we so thorny. We so horny. Yeah. And just like that, she got them all. She's our winner today. Hey, Way to congratulations. go. Congratulations. Oh, nice. You know your 90s twisted titles, and you're going to go sec- check out uh, I Love the 90s Saturday night at Black Bear <laughs> Casino. Congratulations, <laughs> Melissa, and enjoy that all show. Right, okay? awesome. All right, hang on just a few minutes here, and thanks for listening to The Morning Brew on Mix 108. Mix what are we morning brew? Good morning and happy Wednesday. It's Nick Cooper and Tony Hart with you here at eight fifty this morning. Currently, we're looking at uh, temperatures getting back up to around you know that that eighty degree mark might be a little warmer today yet. Actually, uh, depending on where you are, it might see some mid eighties. So love it. Very summer like today is what the deal is. Now a uh, heads up for folks if you didn't get the chance last night. Now. I was going to ask Leah, who actually called us and said, hey, I might not be able to join you because she's recording something oh, okay. right, right now. So we're, she may or may not join us. But I was going to ask her, because we, so we were yesterday, we were at Skyline. We were doing a little staff outing. Mm. And early in the afternoon while we were there, it was, it was hot and sunny. It and was. then this like, I don't know if it was like a high layer of smoke or something rolled in, but it got kind of hazy. It got real hazy last night. Cooled yeah. Cooled down a little bit and. So I don't know. I, I I checked. The air quality was good. So I don't know if it's like high level smoke or if it was yeah. I don't know what the deal was. But anyway, the reason I'm bringing that up is because if you uh, tried going out to see the Northern Lights and maybe were met by some difficulty last night, that might be the deal. Um, but there is another chance. Maybe tonight, tomorrow is your better odds if you're looking to get out one more time here before uh, before this round of chances wraps up. So we can get out and check out things tomorrow night. Make your plans, Tony. Go out and. See the Northern Lights. I've already <laughs> seen them. Well, that's that's the thing with the, this year. A lot of folks have got you know. There's people that have maybe missed one opportunity, and so they take advantage of the next one. But this has been a very active summer. It has been, yes. And if you don't know why, the sun is it's at its most active. It goes through about eleven year cycle. Here we go. And this year's the uh, the active year. I'm, that's all. That's all I got. Okay, that's, that's all, all I got. Okay, I'm not getting into like a giant more. science lesson yeah, here. Yeah, I thought you were gonna go into no. like ionosphere no. and like all this stuff. That's that's all. I, I was just gonna oh, quickly okay. say if you're wondering, well, this <laughs> way more chances to see the Northern Lights. I'm actually kind of burnt out on it. Be all that. That's I know. Oh uh, yeah, like. I mean, I've said this before. Like, I saw like the most incredible Northern Lights show when I was like twelve, right? In like super northern Canada, where it was like pitch black and it S- literally looked like I don't know. I, I can't even explain it. But yeah. ever since then, the Northern Lights have just been okay. kind of meh. Okay. Me. Yeah, the, some of the shows earlier this year have been pretty impressive mm-hmm. for for our. Part yeah, no, uh, yeah, there there have been yes. So. Yes. 
But I'm not motivated anymore to like do the late night, especially or like get out of town and like get out of the lights. So like, yeah, sure. I I got you. I got you. Been there, done that. I'm just looking out for the people that want. I know. I know. A lot of people love it. A lot of people haven't seen them before, so I get it. Like you want to see it. I'm not right. I'm not saying they're cool. Not you know. You got. You should check them out. Yes. Just want to make that clear. I don't want any. Make anybody uh-huh. like Tony's just being a hater over there. No, no, I'm just <laughs> it's, a, it's my own personal experience, I'm, really. I'm sharing. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So, Tony, do we have more 90s tickets for tomorrow? Or we, yeah, don't? we do have another pair. Actually, I think we have two more pairs, so we'll probably give them both away tomorrow. I'm thinking oh, rather than trying to make somebody day. drive here on Friday of? to pick up your tickets. Yeah, yeah. Okay. so we'll probably blow out two pair of I Love the 90s tickets tomorrow. Okay. Maybe we'll do a head-to-head competition. Maybe oh. we'll get two listeners on the phone for something. That sounds like fun. So listen in tomorrow morning is the is the deal there because you could win some tickets for this weekend's big show. Now, the show itself is on Saturday. Saturday Tony, night, Black Bear Casino, yeah. Tony's kicking things off there. Yeah, I'm the host or MC, so I'll be uh, kicking Freestyle off Freestyle rapping. No, no. <laughs> Well, the thing at Black Bear, too, is they'll give you, they'll like the last time, the last show intro I did, they're like, they gave me a script, which was like a minute or two, and they asked me to fill like 15 minutes. So I broke into like a, like an impromptu stand, like stand-up comedy act or something. Did you ever wonder why? <laughs> hey, I tell you, hey, how are you doing here? You know? So, so that that's worth the price of admission by itself. So, I Tony mean, might be watch doing- me, yeah, watch me, you know. A tap dance for 12 minutes on stage <laughs> to kill time before Tone Loke gets up there. <laughs> that, that has motivated me to want to go this weekend. The bands will be fun. The groups will be fun. But Tony, do a little I, just wa- I actually just want to go up to Jazzy uh, backstage and yeah. do like the wheels, like the, you know, the the, the slap and the yep. handshake and see if he does it with me. I'm going to guess no. Ah, he will. Okay. All right. Well, let me know. I'll have somebody get a video of please do. us doing the us doing the. I don't know what you would call that. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what. There's there's got to be a name. The Fresh it. Prince. Yeah. Greeting handshake thing. Yeah. Well, good luck with that. So anyway, listen in tomorrow for a couple chances to win. We're looking forward to that. Uh, in the meantime, we're to kick off your workday. 108 minutes commercial free. That's all brought to you by Nicolay Law. Nicolay Let's go. Tommy Richmond, Olivia Rodrigo, and Morrow coming up here and mix it away. Good morning.